cool. Hi, Gene Burnett from GeneBurnett.com. Hey, I thought we'd talk a little bit today about different ways to approach the Tai Chi idea of continuous motion in uh, doing forms. I'm just going to do a section of the solo version of one of our partner forms um, just to show a couple of, a few different ways of approaching continuous motion. This first one is the way that I like the least, and that is continuous motion along with continuous speed. So I'm going to go the same speed the whole time. No acceleration, no deceleration. And it looks like this. So yes, I'm in continuous motion, but there's no buildup of, of coiled kinetic energy and release. There's no timing of accelerate and decelerate. Uh, it's, not a, it's not very good for developing power and speed and agility to me. It's not as functional because it's just one continuous speed all the time. Now the next method I like better, and this method is um, to accelerate and decelerate within the movements. In other words, there'll be a fast part and then there'll be a slow part. And what I'm going to do is, if you watch my core, my center, you'll see that my center stops. And then my, my limbs will extend the motion. So the center will stop and the limbs will extend. And that'll create some continuous motion. There's still like a stop start in the middle, but the edges are loose and soft. So they take care of the continuous motion. So it's kind of move. Uh, what's the word, uh, follow through, like move, follow through, move, follow through, move, follow through, and, and therefore it doesn't stop. I like this a little better. So that looks more like this. Sorry, wrong form. <laughs> there we go. So you can see there's a continuous speed, but it has a little break in it. And not, not a continuous speed, a continuous motion, but it has a little break in it. And the break then is echoed in the hands. That's, um, th I like that method too. Um, another method that I also like is to do continuous motion, uh, but not to let anything stop. In other words, when I'm done with the motion, I'm going for the next motion. There's still an ex uh, acceleration and deceleration, but um, I'm not going to stop my center and let the, uh, the follow-through keep it going. I'm going to move my center as well. Hard to describe, but it looks something like this. Shit. Wrong form. Wait a minute. No, that was the right form. There we go. I like that one a lot. It's like um, almost like you're on the molasses planet, so you had to push through, kind of push through stuff to get to where you're going, and you can't stop because if you stop, you just get stuck. So it has a smooth. There's a smoothness to it. There's a continuing continuity to it, but I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping and letting letting this echo be my continuous motion. I'm not doing that. I'm moving through the position. So there is acceleration and deceleration, a heaviness and lightness, heaviness and lightness, issue and uh, coil and release, but it's all but there's a continuous underlying motion. And another way that I like also to do sometimes is to um, 
it's hard to describe exactly, but yes, I'm going to stop on every movement. I'm going to stop on every on every single issue. But um, what's continuous is the intent in my mind to go through. It's kind of like a dotted line, and I'm focusing on where the dotted line is going, as opposed to stopping the line from being dotted. So it may look like I'm stopping, but my idea, I'm like if there's stepping stones in a creek, and I'm going boom, boom, boom. Like I'm stepping on each stone, but I'm, my intent is to continue to go forward. So I'm not stopping like this. Because then I have no momentum to go on to the next movement. It, it looks more like this. a stop, but it's like a jackhammer. When a jackhammer is doing, there's a little stop in between the jackhammer. It's going boom, 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 boom. But what you hear is bub, 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 bub. So I'm, I'm not focused on the spaces. I'm focused on going through. So um, those are four methods of, uh, four ways of keeping continuous motion. One is continuous motion and continuous speed, so that they just, it's like, it's very good for smoothness. But I don't think it's good for developing coiling and issuing in power because you're not decelerating and accelerating, and that's what power is all about. The second method does that, but there's a little pause in the core as the, as the periphery echoes the movement. The core pauses, the periphery follows through like that. The third one is to keep it all continuous. So you've got issuing. But, every, but as soon as you've issued, the next movement is starting. There's a very small pause, if any, between the movements. So you're, if I'm going to issue here, boom, and then I'm going right into the next. So there's a moment of weightedness, but I'm not actually letting it stop at all. And then the last one was, you know, boom, 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 boom. You do, you're actually stopping on each move, but your intent is to see past it into the sequence. So I just thought I would share that for fun, different ways of approaching um, continuous motion. If you like this kind of thing, subscribe to my channel, and uh, see you next time.